Ahava and blessings to all of you. I'm wishing all of you a magical and beautiful Shabbat day. Today is Friday, Venus Day, Magnin Shabbat day, and it is always a day to remember unity, duality going into unity, and if the divine feminine presence of the Holy Spirit is exiled, we bring the Holy Spirit back into our life, the divine feminine presence, and this is her dwelling place. So I wanted to share a message uh, from Yeshua from the Gospel of Thomas. Tomorrow is a very powerful portal. It is the 1111 portal known as the Malkuta Infinity Portal. It is a day to access the kingdom, to really see the kingdom within us and outside of us as Yeshua taught. And uh, I'm actually teaching a workshop today, the 1111 Saratamar Dragon Ceremony. Very, very powerful workshop. I've been up since three in the morning doing my meditations and my practices just to hold the space and facilitate the activations and meditations I will be delivering. And so I really wanted to bring in a powerful message that we can take into our week, the week ahead. And this is what Shabbat does. As we commune with the soul, we commune with Allah, Divine Mother, Father, Shahina, the Holy Breath, we take in a teaching Whatever happens today, whatever wisdom that we receive, we take it into the next week and embody it. And so in the Gospel of Thomas, there's so many teachings there, but there's one teaching that I wanted to bring in today that we could align and, and, and really open up and understand and reflect upon, especially during this powerful portal that is the 1111 um, Markuta Infinity Portal. And there's a moment in the text, of course, because Thomas is actually just had recorded all of his sayings, his teachings. He says that he went out to teach his wisdom, to give his wisdom unconditionally and abundantly, but everyone was intoxicated. And until humanity, this collective humanity did not vomit the wine, they could not be themselves. So he says, at this time, they are intoxicated. When they have vomited their wine, they will return to themselves. And I want to read the whole thing. I stood in the midst of the world and revealed myself to them in the flesh. I found them all intoxicated. Not one of them was thirsty, and my soul grieved for the children of humanity. For they are blind in their hearts. They do not see. They came naked into the world, and naked they will leave it. At this time, they are intoxicated. When they have vomited their wine, they will return to themselves. And so on this powerful portal, right, we're opening up the 1111, the one of the one, the Shabbat candles, right? There's something being birthed, an energy coming through. And at the same time, the candles want to come together to create unity. And so in this powerful portal, we can ask ourselves, if we want to create more space within ourselves to receive the blessings, to receive the miracles, what, how, in which way are we intoxicated? And Yeshua uses this word to say that we are, we are blind, we are veiled, we cannot see. And if we cannot see and we are veiled, we are not truly ourselves. So where does the veil need to be removed in our life? And sometimes we're not aware of the veils that we have. Um, some of the veils could be uh, you know, fears, separation, duality, I could go on, right? It could be societal programming, but at the same time, those veils could also be illusions, right? Sometimes we create a false reality in our minds just to be able to continue in our life or to continue having things as they should be instead of stirring them up. Yeshua also says in this, uh, in this gospel that when we are awakened, we are disturbed first, right? The awakening process creates a shift, creates a trembling, creates a chaos because there needs to be a change. And as the change is happening within us, the rest of the world needs to catch up. The change happens outside of us as well. And so for the inner and the outer to reflect themselves, it takes some time. And so what is it in our life that is intoxicating us? What should be vomited, and using the words of Yeshua, so that we can be our true selves? And it could be something like, are we afraid to speak? Are we afraid to voice ourselves? Are we living in a false reality? 
Are we still veiled and, and, and being pressured and also going along with everything that is being said in social media that could be not even truth? So what needs to be released, unveiled? Right? How can we rid ourselves of the intoxicating wine to be ourselves truly? And this is a beautiful, beautiful teaching from Yeshua because as we go into this portal, it is all about accessing the kingdom. And Yeshua speaks that the kingdom is within us, in a tree, in a flower, and outside of us. It's not far away, right? It's not some place that we will reach when we are completely enlightened. It's here and it's now. Yet we choose to live in the kingdom and to be able to live in the kingdom, what needs to be vomited? What is veiling completely our true vision and experience of the totality and the infinity that we are? And so I am wishing all of you a blessed Shabbat day. And um, I know that some of you, <clears throat> excuse me, that's me waking up too early. <laughs> and doing all my meditations. Many of you have signed up for the 11-11 Saratama ceremony, and I am excited to see you today and be with all of you. So have a radiant day filled of unity, oneness, divine union, love, expansion, and infinity. Ahava.